Saturday morning, we're gonna move some straw. It's not rained yet, it's supposed to rain at dinner. We're gonna try and bale a little bit more straw as well. Dad's just putting some barley through the dryer, lift the bush away a little bit. It's a little bit low, put it through there, scrubbing it about a bit, just kind of helps a bit, lifts it up. If we can as well, we're gonna see if we can drill some summer barley as well today. Just, uh, just keep moving before the rain comes really. It's supposed to be a thunderstorm, so I'm sure whatever we're doing today, we'll end up stopping it abruptly if it is a thunderstorm. Something tells me we've got a leak on this Merlot as well. Um, Oh, empty trailer. Liv's getting another one on the fast track. Andrew's put the drill on. And then I'm gonna go now and start loading this one on the field. Rob's messing with a knotter. This is a field we broadcast the summer barley into. So it has got a bit of a green tinge to it. But I don't think we could spread it wide enough. Jump off and show you. See, look. So it is growing. But then there's like nothing there. But then there it's got it again. So obviously it's been spreading it, but just not wide enough. Anyway, we'll move the rest of this straw now. And then we'll come up and we'll, we'll drill the far end of the field and maybe just stitch in here and leave it as a bit of a trial. But that's obviously got a, a weak start on the rest of it. This trail has sunk a little bit, so we have to try and get the get underneath it with this and lift it up. Um, sometimes John Deere Riches go underneath, sometimes they don't. Are we getting it or not? A little bit wonky, but it'll be all right. That's on its way back now. Go and strap that one. Six bales there, move them to here. One more trailer full and it's this field cleared. Andrew's now filling the drill up, ready to come and drill it. I think Rob needs some new glasses. Seems to be a row of straw left here. Unfortunately as well, you can see on the window, it's starting to rain. So, so much for getting more straw bale this morning. Anyway, it's just these last few to take back now. That seems sensible, having a bonfire in your garden close to a massive field of barley. Anyway, we've cleared this now. This field actually was set on fire last year. Just rows of straw up by that wood. Anyway, we've cleared it all now, just take that trailer back and then this one and we're done. Has anyone else wipe the hands and fingers on a tyre before they climb in the cab after you've done the oil brakes on things? Or just me? There's no rag in this because it's no one's put one in yet. We can only go three high with these bales because they're 90. Otherwise, they wouldn't fit. This is the famous bridge that flooded. Yeah, loads of room. Andrew's got the drill on his smart box, hasn't arrived yet. Um, he's gonna go now and drill some barley. Cut the rate down 160 kilos to the hectare and see what it does. On the 7 8 beached with the rake on. I'm gonna flick some straw over because it's come fine again. So I'm just going to flick it over, see if we can get some bale. Just stir it up a little bit. Dad's in the way, they're moving chip. So that time of year when you need a phone charger in every tractor, that's not got one in. Anyway, I've just, rather than turn around, Rob's just flying up now with one for me. Over the hill, hopefully. Yay! We're still in these roads of straw, see how dry they are. And obviously we've been driven on with a combine turn. It's a little bit damp. Rowing it over now. Yeah, so just driving next to the row there, flicking it up, let the air get through it, dry it out a bit quicker. Because it's so dense underneath, it'll still be damp. 
but yeah it's supposed to be a thunderstorm that's the problem we've got this like nice hot warm wind to dry it out but it's equally going to thunder up bring up a thunderstorm Here now, I don't think you saw it on a live video, but it went properly, properly black. You know, it just seemed to have escaped it. I'm just flicking it over now. Someone did say, What's the point if the bale is right there? It's not wet, it's just a little bit damp underneath the row because it's not getting the sun because the rows are so big and it's not getting the wind. Well, you know, when you wash your hands, if you were to put them in a plastic bag, they wouldn't dry. But if you just wave them in the air for like two minutes to be dry in this weather so just by flicking this over there's a good half an hour if not 45 minutes between me and the baler wherever the person the the baler there um, so by the time he gets to me it's just completely bone dry and it just helps that little bit we just we you know normally left it an hour or two and then come baling but the problem with doing that is in that hour or two it would have obviously completely started raining and we wouldn't have got anything more done so we're just kind of like rushing it really because we've, we've, we've caught it up we're, we're not combining today um, we finished all our barley Bill's wasn't wanted to come uh, today yeah, I thought we got lucky there but well, I don't know look how the house is this way it's pretty uh, I don't know if it's because of us it's Rob on the radio it looks better now than it did 10 minutes ago so we'll just keep going Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's why I'm flicking it around. It's just just to give it that little bit more of a dry. It looks like that is going to be the cloud that stops us today. The others kind of went round us. I don't know, over there somewhere. But that one looks heavy. It's half three in the afternoon and that guy's security lights come on because it's gone that black now. They're ready to rain on us. The river's over there and it looks like the clouds are following the river now. But anyway, I'm going to head back to the yard now. I've rode over half this field and get the merlot and start rocking them up. Just have to open a window to pull the ropes to fold up and all the straw that's been behind it's just blown in. Oh! And there's loads of lightning as well over there rush back and get the merlot now. Oh, look. That, I don't know really if you saw that lightning then, but that has just disappeared. I'm realising now, I'll try and get some uh, pictures of us there. There's any lightning in front of us. Rob's just trying to get some pictures of the lightning. That is... proper. So I guess, I'd say it's raining at that end of the field. Here it comes, it didn't even get to the other end of the field. So that flash of lightning then. Let's go back, they're big drops then. Look at the size of them raindrops. Somewhere. So. There's Rob trying to uh, pull the ramp on the bailer. Now that is rain. Just that shut up, I wonder where that be. Can you see that? Totally, totally chugging it down. We are in that gutter's working well because the downspout can't take it. Okay. Let me just open this window so you can see better. So the downspout can't take it, it's wearing over the top. Same with this one here, that's running full bore and it's wearing over the top of that one as well. Grid's blocked there with one chip and straw. It's quite satisfying. So it blocks again.
That's a boat, my straw on concrete yards. That's not ideal, is it? When? As we'll put it in the wheat store, Andrew. He's been rained off drilling as well. Pigeons going in different directions there. Might get the rain, the lightning. Try get on the bubbles so we get the squash up slow. Because it's wet, they took the exhaust off the Zerion, get it ready for tractor pulling next week. So we're going to make a straight pipe so it sounds better. So this is what it sounds like with no exhaust on. Solace up now, we'll see which sounds the best. <laughs> you can even hear that running with this. Is it this at the side what exhaust? Well, start that up, let's hear the difference. Ooh, power! What are you washing it for, Andrew? It's just rained. What? Can't stand it. Ian's selling a disaster convertible. How many miles it does? 76 that? 72. 72. Two litre turbo, never raced or rallied. <laughs> never been what? Two, two <laughs> litre turbo. <laughs> Volkswagen convertible, if anyone's interested. Ian's selling it. Been in storage as well for about two years, so it's not done a lot. The, uh, what day them, is it today? I didn't get that memo, did they? <laughs> it's a bit random, isn't it? It's going the extra mile. <laughs> Huge birthday bump today, Richard Everington, Helen Brown, Ian B is 54, George Bugden's on there, Ian B again, he was on twice but just in case there's two of them, Tom Ritchie's 36, Aaron Wade is 17 on the 23rd of July, it's far too early to put on so it's on now because it would probably fall off the list by then, Ewan Kelly I think it's pronounced is 32, Andrew Broster aka Delboy is 31, Paul Edmonds is 49, Amy, Amy, for Amy, Amy Faulkner is on there, Rob Simpson's 42, good age. Gavin Davison's 30 and Martin Clark's on there. And we're now nearly at 40,000. Half, just pretty much halfway to 40,000 from 39,000. So happy birthday, everyone on the birthday bumper. That's about it for today anyway. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, click like. There's a live video done this afternoon as well. If you want to go and check that out. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.